Hello everybody, it's Atomog217. Welcome to a LEGO Club Polybag Set Unboxing and Review. Tim, look at set number 852996, Max. This contains four pieces to just make up the minifigure. And was a promotional item back in February of 2010. And supposedly he was just given out to people who entered the store. So he's quite a common figure. Uh, at the time to get your hands on. Um, he's pretty much the only way to get your hands on a Max minifigure. Uh, he's also the mascot of Lego Club, the magazine, as well as Lego Life Club magazine, or whatever. And he's also shown as a mascot for other Lego products here and there. Um, there is one other kind of Max minifigure that you can get your hands on, but I don't know much about that. There's an image right there of what that looks like. A lot less common than this guy to get your hands on. Uh, I think nowadays on Brickling, this guy goes for about like six, seven dollars Canadian. But anyway, enough rambling on. Let's open up this poly bag and have a look at him. So you guys know me. Careful opening. Just to keep the packaging in as mint condition as possible. Yeah, if you're looking to get this figure off of Bricklink, not too hard. I got mine for like $7. So. There's the hairpiece. Torso. Legs. And the headpiece. Four pieces in total. Nothing else. So let's get this figure built up and have a look at him. So here we have Max all built up. This is a really cool minifigure. Uh, for a figure that was released as a freebie in 2010, this looks really cool. Um, there's been quite a lot of different variations of Max over the years. Throw some images up on here, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of what he looked like, but this is more of his uh, most common look. With the Max logo, special facial print, and he's got those little uh, side pouches on the side of his legs. So, I think that's one of the first few instances LEGO has done side leg printing. And uh, something so quite simple, it's pretty cool. There is no double-sided facial print, unfortunately. I kind of would have liked if LEGO would have included his uh, traditional uh, beanie. <laughs> that would have been a nice nostalgic look for him to have. But yeah, like I mentioned earlier, there's only one other Max minifigure in existence. Uh, that's a variation of this one. And that one, I think, was some sort of uh, exclusive. Because not a lot of listings are available, let alone information. And uh, there is a Max keychain, but it's literally just this figure with, you know, some metal stuck in it and become a keychain. Yeah, pretty cool figure, so... Yeah, let's just quickly jump to my final thoughts. Overall, I'd say this is a really interesting minifigure. Definitely worth picking up if you are a fan of the LEGO Club or LEGO Life comics. Definitely worth picking him up. He's not too expensive on the aftermarket, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty cool figure. I uh, kind of wish LEGO would go back and remake this figure, as, you know, it is kind of an old poly bag. But, anyways... Definitely pick this up if you're thinking about it. Anyway, those are more or less my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this review, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell notification. would be very much appreciated. Check out the social media links in the description below. And uh, yeah, again, thank you everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you all in a future video. Till then, see you later.